Hey guys, Sergeant Fitness here. It's a slow Saturday morning. Um, so I haven't showered, haven't uh, washed the hair. It's all messed up. Just have to deal with it. Um, I thought I'd show you how to make uh, my favorite breakfast. It's something I eat pretty much uh, every morning. But remember, it doesn't have to be for breakfast. Don't get locked into certain foods for a certain meal. If something uh, works for you, because of your schedule, out of convenience, out of taste, at a non-traditional time. If it's uh, healthy, go for it. Um, so I'm making my multi-grain cereal, very quick and easy to make. A particular product um, I get from Trader Joe's. Let's see if we can zero in on it. I'm going to grab it. I get from Trader Joe's. Um, there we go. Uh, country Choice Hot Cereal, multi grain. Um, but they do carry it at whole food. Anyway, the reason I like it, I always recommend eat your colors. Um, eat a broad spectrum of food items. Diversify your nutrition. Um, so this is a convenient way to get four grains. you got rye, barley, oats, and wheat. What I'm making here can be done with just oats, but I get the benefit of four grains in one meal. Um, in the pot, in the pan, we have one half apple chopped. It happens to be a Granny Smith apple because that's what I had. Um, I prefer to go with sweeter apples, but it'll still work. Real simple. I'm going with one half of a cup. I kind of fluctuate between one third and one half depending on what I'm doing in my training. Currently, I'm trying to put on a little muscle. Um, so I'm upping my protein some and upping my uh, carb intake some. It's a two to one ratio of water to cereal, so I put it one half cup. We go with one cup water. And on the stove, normally what I do, you can see how quick that was, chop the apple, throw it in the pan, dump the cereal in, put the water in, throw it on the stove on high, as soon as it starts to boil, I turn it off, go do something else. So this is something you could do in a busy uh, work morning. Get up, down a big glass of water first thing, come into the kitchen. If you normally make coffee, start your cereal first. Make your coffee, keep your eye on it. Once it starts uh, boiling, turn it off. Go back to get your shower, get ready for work. By the time you're dressed and everything, come back, it'll be ready to go. Um, I'm going to let this come to a boil, then I'm going to turn it off, and I'm going to take my dog for a walk. I'll be back with you to show you uh, the rest of the ingredients I put in. Okay everybody, I'm back. Nellie had her walk, so I'm going to uh, finish up my breakfast and eat it. I'm pretty hungry. Okay, so there's the finished cereal. And the first thing I'm going to put in there is a regular spoon scoop of brown sugar okay and just tap it a little bit try to spread it around now because this was a granny smith and they're a little tart I'm gonna let myself have a little extra sugar um, generally I go with one spoon but 
this is going to help bring out the sweetness um, or counteract kind of the tartness in that green apple and it actually would be pretty nice flavor um, in a new addition I'm starting to venture out and become a little more gourmet I'm going to sprinkle a little cinnamon in there they say cinnamon is supposed to help elevate your metabolism so that's probably a good thing uh, I'm just doing it for flavor um, and it's still warm so that brown sugar is going to start melting which I personally really like next I'm going to add my oodles oodos oil um, let's see if I can zoom in on that and get you a clearer picture um, available at Whole Foods in their kind of health food section you could also get it at least in my area in the bigger health food stores you find it in their uh, refrigerated um, area highly recommend it and I'm gonna do a separate post on it specifically alright I need to set the camera down to add my oil Okay, so the oil's in. I just took the same spoon, put, a look, put, um, put some oil in it, ran it across, did that three times. So about, you know, I don't worry about measuring and weighing and whatever. I know I'm in the ballpark. Next, we're going to take a scoop of chopped or crushed walnuts. Alright, and last but not least, dried cranberries. Again, it was one spoon full of each, kind of sprinkled around. And there you have it, that's my morning concoction. Um, tastes real good a lot like apple pie um, extremely nutritious extremely long burning and to, to finish everything off I'm gonna have uh, my protein item 1% cottage cheese roughly a cup this is actually a little more than a cup but I'm not gonna worry about it again I am trying to uh, put on some muscle size so there you have it how I start the morning at least currently um, you could play around with this you don't like walnuts try almonds um, you don't want cranberries put in raisins you want to put in raisins and cranberries you want to put in a different fruit um, it really lends itself well to, to many different blends and over the years I have blended many different things um, in my oatmeal and then ultimately when I discovered the uh, uh, hot cereal blend into that uh, so hope that helps um, train hard, eat smart and get results oh check out my new blog Hardcore fitness review. Um, there's going to be a lot more tips coming uh, with regard to nutrition uh, and common sense approach and simple, easy approach, simple, easy and convenient approaches to um, healthy eating and satisfying. All right, start to fitness. Remember, kiss and be. Keep it short, simple and brutal.